I'm trying to correct what I think I'm doing wrong. Yeah. Which is not always true. No, exactly. You know, what you feel you're doing wrong could be totally opposite. And there's the thin one. At this moment in time, you're normally at the golf ball. Ah, okay. So I'm actually you're there. The, yeah, you're at the ball. Before that comes. You're at the ball. I always thought I was going through the ball. Yeah. Obviously not. It's not about how far you move, it's about how much you go up. That's a fantastic move. Well, it didn't feel as if I'd hit it. 20 yard increase. Yeah. As I say, it's normally about 150, the average is about 150, anything from 145 to 155 before the lesson. So I've yeah. averaged it out to about 150 for the 7 iron. This looks good. So what? Yeah. What would you like from the session then? What, what's going to make a difference to your game? Uh, as I say, you've been following yourself on YouTube now for about seven, eight months. I'm trying to correct what I think I'm doing wrong. Yeah. Which is not always true. No, exactly. You know, what you feel you're doing wrong could be totally opposite. And the exercises that you're doing, you want to make sure they are absolutely right for you. Yes. So we, we adapt them, they are bespoke exactly, tailored yes. for you. And there's the thin one. And there it goes left. And for me, that's under the trees. On, yeah. the, on the wrong hole. Let's say we're hitting more draws after watching your videos. Right. Predominantly. But uh, I played for years with uh, a power fade, if you can call it power, power fade. fade. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's called a slice. <laughs> <laughs> you see where you are here with your pelvis and your, your, yeah. the left leg extended? That should be happening, I can borrow your club, more, more about here. And you're uh, there, you've gone. Yeah. So it's way too late. So you've got the movement, mm -hmm. just using it all at the wrong time. Okay. okay. But hence the reason for the lesson. Yeah, but only <laughs> for only for only for that particular swing. Sometimes you might tap into it a little bit earlier. Yeah. And unload and rotate a little bit earlier and suddenly, boom, it's like, oh, that's gone, like you say, 10, 20 yards further. Because yeah. you've got all this extra force, because at the moment you're stuck, you're here. When you hit the golf ball, you're stuck on. Can you see it goes from one two eight three to one two six one? From there to there, you've only unloaded about twenty newtons. It's nothing. So you're here, ready to go, and you've like the club's just gone, but you've only unloaded twenty newtons in this time. It's like you should be like boom, dumping the whole lot. Yeah. You should be off and transferring it all through to the club. When we want to transfer this force through, we come off the ball, we push off it, and that's what's going to. Give you the power, but we're going to go. But then I'm going to then, then I'm going to switch this, and you're going to rock this board, <laughs> and then you're going to feel how you rock this board. But yeah. you don't rock this board by the, by doing this, because that's just me twisting my hips. I mean, you're going to rock this board by pushing by up, pushing up, and it's the, the board tips as a just as a, as, a, as a result of you pushing off, and then the hips rotating and then the board rocks. Just swinging back and just keep the club there and on your back swing. And just keep it there behind you. Don't swing it down, but just practice, just feeling where the, the torque is and where that club would be in relation. It's way, way behind. At this moment in time, you're normally at the golf ball. Ah, okay. So I'm actually you're there. The, yeah, you're at the ball. Before that comes. You're at the ball. I always thought I was going through the ball. Yeah. Obviously not. And just have a few shots, just, just nice easy three quarter swings. We're not bothered about the ball, the ball fly, that's what I'm that's not our feedback. Uh, what I'd like your feedback on is what you're feeling with your movement. So nice easy three quarter soft shots. It'll be chaos in a minute, that's good. Just swing out there. Yeah, I'll swing out there and see what I see in the Good. Oh, so I can do it. You can do it. Squash the ball with the forefoot as you drop. That's it. Good. So much to keep your head stuck. <laughs> it's going to be, yeah, all over, which is good. Welcome to the chaos. Yeah. It all starts to reorganise with efficiency. The legs, I always thought I'd use my legs 
but obviously not at the right time. No. What shot. That's a great golf shot. Does yeah. it feel? Yeah, totally different. As I say, I didn't feel as if I put any effort into that at all. No. Oh, yes. That's shot. a proper golf shot, that is. Great shot, Steve. And you release, your arms. Yeah. Just free wheeling. Different feel? Yeah. A lot different feel. As in, I think the hips are moving. <laughs> They're alive! <laughs> it's not about how far you move, it's about how much you go up and how how much pressure you can apply down and the speed that's brilliant and the speed of it is tapping into more fast twitch muscles I don't have any of them left <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant scene now we're talking so you don't that ball fly ain't getting thrown around by the wind no there's a real snap in there with your body and the club, yeah, look how you move, yeah. What's interesting is you're holding the club here as you're doing it. Yeah. You, you, know, you know this is like, this is behind. That's what it needs to be. Mm. What a flight. You want to get down, don't you? Yeah. Get down, down, down. No reason why not with that ball flight. I may have to go to, uh, the range and recalibrate the length. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Use my little machine I've got in the back. Stuck that on with the track man and it, it was only about three, four yards off. Right, that's good enough, isn't with it? The, with the irons. Yeah. The driver was uh, a fair few out, but uh, the irons aren't too bad. Oh, well, that should be set up. What a golf shot. And that's 11 yards further than normal. That's it. Wow. My distances are on there. Yeah, 150 with a 7 iron. And Just a need when you're one, one, six, one, one, when you got your three. GPS watch on, is it okay? Yeah. So, yeah, it's about the stock distance. Yeah. So I know roughly the distance I hit each club. Yeah. And then you just adjust then for the wind up, hill, up hill and down downhill. What's also interesting is that your ball flight's a lot higher. Yes. So you're hitting it 161.3 with the higher ball flight. Yeah. So you, you, you're gaining distance, but also the ball went bullet straight. Now, if you look at the flag in the distance, can you see that flag? Can you see the yellow flag behind the tree? Yeah. Look how much and that's... And it's blowing left. Look how much that's blowing. Yeah. Six eight. I'm back up to 87. I mean, it's just that late release. That yeah. felt a lot later rather than going with the body. 18 yard increase. That is high. Mm. That's 169. <laughs> 170. 169.8. Yeah. But it didn't feel as if I'd hit it. A 20 yard increase. Yeah. As I say, it's normally about 150, the average is about 150, anything from 145 to 155 before the lesson. So I've, I've yeah, averaged yeah. it out to about 150 for the seven iron. Yeah, that's, that's, what's important there as well that you mentioned was, did you feel like you'd hit it? No, so it was, I just swung through. Yeah, so this is the place to, this is what we need to start to recognise is the time of the sequence. Take that all day shot. 170.7. Wow. That club's coming so much later now. Yeah. 172. And I'm over 89. With a 141 mm -hmm. smash, so it's, it's brilliant. 120. 120? Yeah. 126 wall speed. 89 mile an hour covered speed, fantastic. Yeah. Before you could speed, uh, would be anything from 82 to about 85. Right. So that's where the extra, yeah, that late swish.
on 73.2. I'll put in a little bit more momentum from the floor. 91. Yeah, 91. Not from these. And you just preempted what I was about to do <laughs> when you said I'm, I'm bringing more momentum from the floor, right? Oh, okay. So, because this is, you know, I mentioned low point earlier. Yeah. So what we're going to do, I'm going to move the pressure plate up there, we're going to put the GRF on, yeah. and we're going to start to get a sense of when you're shifting pressure laterally, okay, and how that then will influence the low point. We're going to move that pressure plate and then put the GRF on and then we're good to go. Point Fantastic. the lady's not going to thank you. If that's going out to the middle, I'll have to change the clubs a lot quicker. So we're not going up, we're not coming off the ball. The dog will be happy when I cut one of the tennis balls apart. We're not extending. <laughs> the leg to bang the board, we flex it, we're going down. And then, you, then you go up, bang, to throw it. So this will be so far behind, and then you're going up, and that's what throws the ball. Now, when you've got it over here, then you go up. So when you go, you flex, and then you stand up. Fantastic. One, two, and the hit comes after. there. Nice, easy, R three quarter swings. One, two, and then the hit comes later after the two. One, two, well done. We don't want the two and the hit to be close together or, or together. Well played, well done. Chaos again. Yeah, it will be. One, two. Perfect. <laughs> it's a difference in timing, isn't it? Yes. But again, it's flying without even feeling as if you are. Notice where your ball flies come down, because now you're shifting one too early in, low points forward, you can release and it's going to come out lower. Yes. Get a strong fly. If you love the coaching, but you're not able to get a lesson and want to experience the transformation for yourself, the closest thing you can do to get a lesson is by a Zen GRF Infinity training system and experience the same things that you're seeing my pupils go through in a lesson. It's a training tool that allows you to discover your swing naturally and a two hour download of all the exercises that enable my pupils to tap into those forces and find their most natural, efficient golf swing. Just gotta let that swing free wheel. Feel good? Yes. Again, different to what I'm used to. And I felt as if that when I was swinging that it was back there. I didn't think it was going with my body as much. But uh, it definitely feels as if it's up here now. Yeah. And the body's already gone. Momentum is still going this way. I'm all, almost already there. Yeah, club is. And you're absolutely right. Your body's momentum is going that way. And the club's momentum's going that way. Oh, that's it. Oh. Now, the way you were moving before, you wouldn't have been able to get that swish. No. That's a great goal shot. Wow. 173.6, 89.6. Oh, what a swing, what a shot. That's <clears throat> I just feel different that. Yeah. That's night and day. Totally different ball point here. 170.8. 90 mile an hour. 90 mile an hour again. But I don't feel as if I'm swinging at 90 mile an hour. But if I, if I was trying to get that speed up and then the fade was coming in. Yeah. As I say, it was all obviously all upper body. So you know how you can move now. You're starting to get a sense of where you are in relation to the ball, to the golf shot, how you swing mind how you swing to create all that. That's a fantastic ball fly. Sure. It's a scratch ball fly, isn't it? Don't say things like that on camera. It is. Because the boys will be talking my handicap. 171.7, 1.39 smash, 90.2 again. Not to say so. Yeah. So you've got your club head speed up by five miles an hour, carry distance up by at least, well, it's 20. Almost 20. 20 yards. Yeah. Let's see. It used to average between 148 to 155. But that's because that's a combination of launch angle now, spin rate dropping, launch angle, together with that five mile an hour increase. Yeah. Feeling good? 
Yeah. Does it work Dry higher? Yeah. Does it work? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone asks that. There's the left away. Yeah, that's all right. All you're not doing is affording yourself that space to swing. It needs to be over here. Set it up higher with a high, higher launch, high draw. That's it. When you go up, this thing releases, and you, once you let it release, it's just going to naturally. end of the chain react to your intention and if you if the original intention was draw you're throwing the ball now and this is just this blur at the end of the chain reacting to the yeah. that intention of draw so it's setting up with the intention in mind and recognizing where you're going to be moving this and being comfortable yeah this is there's no surprises this is how I'm expecting it to feel yeah. so your practice swing is really you just habitualizing to this this is what I'm going to do this is the actual swing That's it. Look how consistent it is, time, time, and time again. This is what I wanted from the lesson. Two, five, two carry. Extra five mile an hour. One four. Normally about 98, 99. Sometimes I get to 100, 301. And that's the last three have been over 104. Awesome. And you're just going to grow with this. You're going to develop it. I just don't want to lose the speed as I get older. No. <laughs> you, there's no reason why. Trust it, it's very nice. Yeah. Such a good fly. So you're looking this way, but, yeah. you're, but your goal no, is to No, the, the, the intention is I'm swinging out towards the right hand net. Yeah, so you're swinging this way, but your vision. You're not looking where you're swinging. While you're looking where you want to go, you're mindful that you're going to be swinging out there. You're looking there, but you know you're going to be swinging that's out the, there. That's, that's the biggest thing back. I've taken from the videos I've watched before. As in, that's why the alignment stick now just uh, puts the cover on. Yeah. <laughs> I, honestly, I haven't used them. I've now found, you know, I've now got a use for them. Stick it there and put cover yeah. on there. <laughs> <laughs> but I used to be that uh, yeah. stick on the floor and... Uh, and that, that would have just been driving your left. That's perfect. Two five five point seven carry. One hundred six point four. One forty six again. Yeah. Awesome. Happy? I won't be. I won't be, I won't be able to sell this one without the <laughs> use the sweet spot. <laughs> Happy mate. Yes. Brilliant. Very well good. done. That was awesome. Thank Fantastic. you. Feel like we've got what we wanted from that. Yeah. Because that was like. But I say it's okay watching the videos. Yeah. For getting the left the exercises that I need. Yes. You know, you. All right, I picked it up, and it's got better. But I was swinging differently compared to after following you for the last uh, seven, eight months, and my, and my swing change had changed, but obviously not enough because it was uh, still more to do. This is all about awareness, and you're just exploring your your level of awareness developing that and letting yourself just start to refine it and that's why it takes three hours because it's a journey to get to the yeah. point it's not, say, it's, it's, it's not a fault and fix where it was a feel rather than right you need to get into this position and that position as i have other previous lessons all the golf swing is the feel isn't it yeah mate that was brilliant well thank you thank you Bob. cheers fantastic really really good so so good to watch one of yours that